All right, guys. So let's get started. So um, welcome to intro to iOS development. Uh, we're both very excited to see everyone here. So um, yeah, today's gonna be a bit shorter than uh, you know the 50 minutes. We're just gonna go over, I guess, the course introduction as well as some logistics about the course, and then we can you know, use the remainder of the time to talk about um, or to help you guys set up the uh, Git, GitHub, and uh, Xcode stuff. So. Um, yeah, let's get started with course logistics. So the requirements for this course, um, I know we mentioned that you could potentially use a virtual machine, but then we decided that that would be a little bit painful. So um, this semester, we do require everyone to have a MacBook. Um, if you do have a Windows computer, then feel free to take the Intro to Android Development course, as well as the, the backend course. So that is one of the requirements. And then you also need the Xcode IDE. That's how we will be coding our apps. And you can install that via the, Apple store, the App Store. OK, so enrollments. Um, I know a couple of y'all haven't really enrolled in the Student Center yet. But uh, please enroll into Section 601 under Walker White. That number right there is the access code. Um, <laughs> The ad deadline is actually like a bit later than the typical ad deadline. So I know some people had questions about you know, the, the ad deadline, but um, you can still enroll into Student Center. Um, it is a two credit class, but if you are over the credit limit, then you can always opt in for one or even audit and take it for zero credits. Um, yeah, so the ad deadline, we double check the date. It is October 18th, and the last day to drop will be November 8th. Um, and all these lecture slides, the video will actually post it online um, in the course website. So um, you, you can always refer back to that. Yeah, so lectures are Monday and Wednesday from 8.35 to 9.25 here in only 165. Attendance is mandatory. It will be worth 5% of your grade. But um, you know this lecture, as well as Wednesday's lecture, we won't be taking attendance. But um, the lectures after that, we will take attendance, and it will be for a grade. So um, you know, please come. Uh, we will make all course annou announcements on Ed Discussion. We'll talk more about how to join that later um, towards the end. But um, you know, for now, all course communications will be made on Ed. And we did make a GCal. So if you use GCal, that's all also linked on our uh, course website. Um, yeah, basically everything's on the course website. So. Make sure y'all check that out. Are there any questions? No? OK, so let's introduce us. So that's me. Um, this is my second semester on AppDev. I am working on volume this semester. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah, fun facts about me. Uh, yeah. Hi everyone, I will be co-instructing the course with Vin this year. Um, my name is Richie, I am a CS major, um, and also minoring in data science. Um, this is my third semester in AppDev, and I am currently working on Scooped, uh, our newest app for um, AppDev. And that is some information about me. Oh yeah, and I'm from Long Island, New York, if that's any new information. Okay, so let us introduce our lovely course staff. So I guess we can start down the row, starting with Tiffany. <laughs> Like I guess like uh, name major semester and after what you do. Oh okay. Um, hi guys. Uh, my name is Tiffany. I'm currently a junior studying CS in engineering, and this is also my third semester on Apta. Um, I previously worked on Scoop and Terror. If you guys know about those apps, but maybe not. Um, but <laughs> uh, currently I'm iOS three. But oh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Semester on active, and I'm working on Scoop right now. Um, and uh, where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah, from Cali. <coughs> Hi, I'm Alden. Um, I'm a senior studying CS and engineer. This is also my third semester here. Previously, I worked on Uber Review, and after that, I was course instructor for our engineer sheet. Um, I'm currently working on Uplift, and I'm from New Jersey. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Jason. I'm from Milwaukee, oh, Wisconsin. Mm. 
that went from there. But uh, that's all right. I'm a sophomore in TF Engineering. I'm currently working on Eatery, so uh, look out for that uh, update soon. And um, yeah, can you get that? Hi everyone, I'm Elvis. So I taught the course last year. I'm a senior right now. I'm studying the philosophy of computer science in the Department of Arts and Sciences. And I'm a mentor. I'm gonna be a mentor this semester. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk some more about that later. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our introductions done, let's sort of dive into how the course is going to be structured. So um, this iOS course is going to be taught in the UI kit framework. So starting off, we'll be learning Swift basics. Um, not really focusing on UIKit in the beginning. And we'll also do sort of a Git workshop where you'll learn how to use GitHub and navigate um, Git Enterprise, which is, you know, we'll have like a whole lecture on that, so don't worry. Um, and then we'll sort of dive in into creating, constraining, and lay laying out views, as well as how to navigate and delegate between them. So that'll be lectures three through five. And then sort of with lecture six, we'll shift gears into sort of Rather than um, solely just implementing views and UI, we'll sort of move on into networking and backend integration. So that'll, um, that'll be lectures six through seven. And then sort of later on, we'll also introduce persistence and Snapkit, which are two, like, I guess, extra topics that we're teaching this semester, as well as ARC. And also, we're gonna, at the end of the semester, we're introducing the other framework that you can code with iOS development, which is SwiftUI. Yeah, so let's dive into the assignments. So I guess like the meat and potatoes of the course will be through the assignments. Um, lectures are good and all, but you know, you'll learn a lot just from doing the assignments. And so our first assignment, well, we actually shortened the, I guess, number of assignments this semester. It used to be seven in the past, but now we did shorten it to four now. Um, but each assignment will be a bit, I guess, longer. Um, so yeah, the first assignment will cover Swift Basics. So in Wednesday's lecture next week, we'll you know, teach y'all the basics about Swift, and then we'll release the assignments. Um, in this assignment, you're basically kind of, you know, it's kind of like 1110 style. There will be a couple of functions that you have to implement, and um, you just gotta you know, follow, it, follow the specification. And there are test cases that you guys will um, use to test. Um, yeah, so the point of this assignment is to kind of teach y'all basic Swift syntax. And then I guess more interesting assignments. So our second assignment will be, you'll be creating a profile page. And so you'll learn the basics of UIKit and how to create basic views um, using UIKit. And so for example, that, that's my profile. Um, it seems kind of basic, but then again, it is an intro class. So, you know, it has an image view, which represents the picture of me as well as UI labels, which represent the text. Um, and then you can also push a new screen and then go back into the screen, edit text fields, um, stuff like that. So yeah, second ass assignment. Um, and now the third assignment, it gets a little bit more interesting. So have any of y'all used SciChat? Anyone? SciChat? A few of y'all? OK, so this is basically app dev's version of SciChat, kind of. So um, the point of this assignment is to kind of teach y'all how to use scrollable views. Um, so in this example, we're using a UI collection view. And then you will be able to create a post and implement networking so that you can you know, um, post anonymously. Um, so yeah, that's the third assignment. Last but not least, the fourth assignment will be some recipe book app where not only will you create um, a collection view or a one scrollable view, but there will be two scrollable views, and then you will have to kind of, I guess, filter um, between the data, filter the data. Um, both A3 and A4 will deal with networking, and so um, I guess that's like the most important thing about our course, learning how to work with a backend. And so, yeah, you're also gonna be storing all this data locally as well, so like bookmarking, um, you'll learn how to kind of save that to your local storage. And then finally, Richie is going to discuss about the hack challenge. Oh, and like before we move on to the hack challenge, so I guess something different about this semester as well is that since we are reducing the number of the assignments, but we're also increasing sort of the length of the assignments, we are allowing collaboration for sort of the later assignments. That We'll like go into that later on when we sort of ask you to set up the GitHub enterprise. So you'll be like partnered up with someone of your choosing so you can work on those assignments together So because they, they are kind of lengthy. 
So the last assignment of the course is the hack challenge. So this is uh, technically your final project, but um, we kind of treat it sort of as something separate where you get to work with other students in other courses. So we also teach um, Intro to DPD and Backend as well as Android. So in this sort of final project, you'll be able to collaborate with people from those courses and sort of work on a full stack development app, which includes a designer, a front end member, as well as a back end member, and you'll be able to sort of work on a fully fledged working app that you can put on your portfolio. So here are some of the examples of uh, hack challenge projects that were in the past. So we sort of have like almost, you know, we have like a library app, um, like for study spaces, almost like Eatery, a schedule planning app, and sort of like a recipes app here, and like even um, like the foodie app that we have here. So by the end of the course, you can expect to sort of create a fully working app like this that you can sort of uh, you know, make calls from back end, implement all of the UI, and all that jazz. So yeah. So I guess um, to talk about, I guess, the course outcomes and the goals for sort of by the end of the course, you'll sort of have this knowledge. So hopefully by the end of the course, you'll be able to read and implement and design and create the UI, as well as integrate it with the back end. And in addition to just like iOS development skills that we'll teach throughout the course, we'll also sort of sprinkle in some just general developer skills like GitHub, um, as well as like reading documentation and debugging that will just be valuable for any sort of CS class or say CS class you'll take later on. And most importantly, you'll be able to bring your ideas to life into a fully working app. Yeah, uh, I guess before we continue, are there any general questions about course logistics? No? Okay. So um, so these are like a bunch of to-dos that um, you guys should do after class is over. So um, let's see. Okay, so we still have plenty of time left. I guess we could use the remainder of time to kind of help you guys set up Git and GitHub as well as downloading Xcode. Um, but if you do prefer to do that on your own time, then feel free to leave. Um, so yeah, and we will like sort of post an announcement on EdSTEM later, um, or once we add you to the MSTEM, you'll have sort of an announcement telling you what to do. Like the to dos, we'll make sure that you have access to these, and everything is also on our course website. So the installation links, how to set up um, Xcode, and all that, um, it should be on the course website. So we can sort of treat the remainder of class as sort of, I guess, a workshop to sort of help you set up all your logistics and stuff. It might be easier to get it done here since you know we're here to help. But if you prefer to sort of, yeah, we're, we're kind of back at home, then it's fine too. Yeah, and also um, our next le uh, lecture will be this Wednesday. We'll be teaching y'all Git and GitHub. And so I recommend that you guys attend because, you know, it's very important as developers to be able to learn how to use Git. And uh, we'll also be using it for the course. So <laughs> definitely attend next lecture. Um, yeah, any, any last minute questions? Oh yeah, so um, I can look. You just pull up the. Uh, um, yeah, so this right here is actually the course website, and so I highly recommend that everyone reads through this, especially the syllabus, as well as the getting started page. So I guess to break down the grading a little, can y'all see back there? Okay, yeah. So again, there are only four assignments. The stuff in red are extra credit. And so throughout each assignment, we give y'all extra credit opportunities to go above and beyond the basic requirements. And so for example, you can get up to a 2% bonus on the second assignment. And these midpoint check-ins, so A3 and A4 will be over a two week duration. <laughs> um, and so I guess this midpoint check-in would be for completion only. So, you know, we do have like, I guess like a checkpoint to see how, you know, if you guys are um, on track. And so it will only be completion. Honestly, if you don't reach that checkpoint, it's okay, just turn in what you have. But that checkpoint is kind of just there to make sure that you guys are all on track. Um, but then again, it is completion, so why not turn it in? Uh, yeah, so A3 up to 3%, and then A4 will be up to 5%. So in total, the extra credit that you can get will be up to 10%. Uh, one thing to mention is that the hack challenge is worth 30% of your grade. And so if you, I guess, bomb your assignments, it's okay. You can recover with the hack challenge. 
and then it, again attendance is five percent. Um, any questions? Yes. Yeah, so we will be using CMS for submitting assignments, but we will set up Git or the Cornell Enterprise GitHub for y'all. And so what we'll, you will do will you will clone the repository on GitHub. We'll create the repositories for you, and you'll you know make commits and push those changes onto that repository. And then in the CMS, you will just create some text file. Um, the assignment st instructions have all that information. But you'll just basically create that text file and then submit it onto CMS so that the TAs and us can um, look at your repository. Yeah, any other questions? Yes. Um, I know like, we're using the Cornell Enterprise GitHub, yeah. but um, should we make it, like it automatically makes a new GitHub, but like, so you already <coughs> have one, do we link that directly, or like, do we create a new one for GitHub? Um, I believe Cornell, for some reason, does not allow you to link your own personal GitHub to Enterprise for some reason. I think I've tried it. I don't know if there is a way to do it, but I personally tried, and I don't think there was a way you can link it. But essentially, yeah, you're just creating a new GitHub account on GitHub Enterprise. Yeah, so like the Enterprise GitHub and the Perth or this real GitHub, they're actually two separate, um, I guess, um, GitHubs. And so to kind of link it, to link your computer to GitHub, you'll have to set up um, a different SSH key to that GitHub. Um, the, I guess the instructions um, down here. Yeah, so this will kind of teach y'all how to set it up. Um, so yeah, we can definitely help y'all with that today. Any other questions? And like, make sure you guys sort of set up GitHub before the next lecture, because in the next lecture, we'll sort of be jumping right in and then after fall break, we'll also be jumping right into Swift development and basic Swift. So make sure you sort of have all these installations set so you can just jump in and get started right away. So I guess um, everyone can like feel free to sort of set up um, Xcode or Git if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, we can uh, you can come up to us and we'll be here to answer any questions about Git or GitHub or um, you know any Xcode setup. <coughs> 